What's going on guys? So I'm going to be kicking off a series of videos over the next couple of weeks that is going to showcase a lot of products and solutions to problems that you may have whenever you tow RVs or tow trailers or just accessories that you might need that you may not have known even existed. And oftentimes it's difficult to find out what's actually innovative. What is something that I can use? What's something that's going to benefit me? Whether it's a tool or an accessory or just a piece of equipment to upgrade something you already own. So my channel sponsor eTrailer.com who has been a sponsor of my channel for going on six years now, uh, we got together and we started thinking about all these different things that are available that oftentimes people just don't think about. They don't know that they need or perhaps accessories that you just didn't know existed. And, you know, we might have a product that's currently on an RV or a trailer or a truck or an SUV or maybe even a tool that gets by. But then oftentimes we find ourselves in a situation where we're like, you know what, should I upgrade this? How much is it going to cost to upgrade this? And is it worth it? So what we're looking to do is to produce some videos around products and accessories that you may not have known existed, and they may just simply be a minor upgrade or a major upgrade over something you already have, and they're all designed around a level of convenience that you may not have right now. So I hope you enjoy these videos, and like I said, we're going to spread them throughout the month. These are going to be great gift ideas for folks as well. So I hope you enjoy these videos. I'll put links in the description for everything that we feature, and uh, yeah, definitely Definitely want to give a big shout out to my friends over at eTrailer.com who are collaborating with me on this and helping me provide you with a, a glimpse into some products you may not have known existed. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so quick disclaimer about some of these products. First of all, they were all provided to me as part of this collaboration by eTrailer, my official channel sponsor. But something else to think about is a lot of the products that I have will have been opened before. And the reason why is if you've ever visited eTrailer.com and you've looked at any of their products, they probably have half a dozen videos and tons and tons and tons of pictures on them. And the reason why is because they absolutely want you to be aware of everything you're buying from them how it works, what it's designed for, what it looks like, its dimensions, and if it's gonna fit a specific need for you. So they produce tons and tons and tons of video content, and you can check out how they make all that content in some of the videos I produced at their corporate location when I visited there. Now, in front of you, you were looking at an example of that. So instead of sending me something that's brand new, boxed up and packaged, oftentimes some of the things that they provide me are things that they've already evaluated and it's kind of an open box solution. So this is an example of that. You can see the box is nicely taped up just so they can transport it to me without any damage. And this is a really cool product. This is from a, a company called Trailer Valet. And if you're not familiar with their products, they kind of have revolutionized the technology space around moving a trailer. They have these really, really cool products that help you move a trailer around with like these remote control tracked devices, as well as several dollies that are also powered so you can move your RV or your trailer around without having to hit your truck up to it, which means you can get it in a very, very tight spot. Whenever you're moving your trailer around, oftentimes the limiting factor of where you can put your trailer is your truck's ability to either turn or pivot and the length of the truck itself. So many of the things that they produce are designed specifically for that convenience factor of getting your trailer in or out of certain areas. Now, relatively new to the market from them are these really cool drill powered jacks. Now they're not just drill powered jacks, but if you have a trailer, you know, pretty much any type of RV that doesn't come with a power front tongue jack or a cargo trailer, a utility trailer, a low boy, um, most of those aren't gonna come with power front tongue jacks. And if you get, a lighter duty trailer, you're gonna have your typical front manual jack and it's gonna look very similar to something like this. Now, if you have a heavier trailer, you're obviously gonna want a heavier duty jack, but this is an example of their 2000 pound jack that can also be drill powered. And this is really cool because this gives you the capability of raising and lowering your trailer very, very quickly to couple and uncouple it. So let's get this thing unboxed. Okay, so here it is. Right off the bat, the first thing I gotta say is that it looks freaking awesome. You know, for a front trailer tongue jack, you know, they're pretty much humdrum devices that have one purpose, and that's to raise or lower your trailer so you can hitch it up or unhitch it. But this right here actually looks pretty dang awesome. I really like the overall look of it. Uh, the only feature that I don't see on this one is 
the ability for you to raise or lower this inside of this tube. So it makes it a little bit quicker so you don't have to raise it up completely before you take off. Now, again, the look of this thing is pretty cool and I bet the reason why they didn't do that is because you can hook a power drill up to the front here and you can quickly raise or lower the jack with the power drill, which is super cool. Now they have the bit as well as the handle. Let's get these unbagged and put in place so you can see what it looks like completely assembled. So the handle right here is simply going to lock into place right here. You see it has a little retainer right there. There you go. There's your handle, very, very smooth operation. And to pull the handle out, you're simply gonna push the little retainer down and the handle comes out. Very, very nice. So if you wanna use the drill attachment, you're simply gonna take this, insert it over this piece right here, like that. Open up your drill. Tighten it down and That is super nice, and it's very fast. That is really, really cool. Then you just stow this whenever you're done. It would have been nice if they maybe had somewhere on here that you could stow this, but I'm guessing for theft prevention or just so you don't lose it, they didn't do that. But I don't know if people would actually try to steal that part, but who knows? Very, very cool. Okay, let's take a look at some of the specs. So first of all, the extended height is 37 inches, retracted height is 23 inches, and a total of 14 inches of travel. You see that it's drill powered. Patented gear material composition, delivers maximum efficiency while reducing heat. That's always been a big deal with these. So a lot of uh, manual front tongue jacks simply can't support a power drill because it can heat up the gears too much and you can cause it to seize up or break. And then weather resistant shield protection with the wrinkle black powder coating. So yeah, this is a really, really cool product. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I'll probably end up putting this on my small cargo trailer. I have the tongue jack that's on there now, which is a power front tongue jack, and it has like a 5,000 pound capacity, which means it could lift the entire weight of the trailer and then a couple thousand pounds. Uh, but that said though, it's one of those things to where if the battery's dead or if I don't have anything charging it, uh, which has happened a few times that I have a problem actually unhitching or hitching it up to the truck because the battery's inside of a lock box with a solar panel on top. So sometimes the battery's dead when I come out to it. So. Putting something like this on the front of that trailer would certainly alleviate that. All I need at that point is a power drill to raise or lower it onto the ball. And honestly, like I said, the look of this thing is fantastic. And these aren't terribly expensive, that's the thing. If you even look at low cost power front tongue jacks, they usually cost over $200, well over $200. If you look at your higher end ones, your faster ones, they can cost upwards of four to $500. Something like this is around 100 bucks. So it totally makes it worth it. And if you get this one, it's actually well under $100. And if you get the 5,000 pound rated one that actually has different gearing up top to be able to support that heavier weight, it's rated at 5,000 pounds. So very, very cool product. Definitely an upgrade over what typically comes on trailers as a manual tongue jack. Now here's the key, it's a two inch tube. So you have to make sure that this will fit into the two inch slot that you have. If you have a round jack that looks similar to this, this will probably fit. That's probably the best way of putting it. Um, this is pretty much a universal size for most of your lighter duty trailers. If you move into heavier duty trailers, they might have a square shape to it. They might have a different type of jack. It might even be welded on. But if you look at the front of your trailer, if it has three bolts holding it in place right here, which they include the replacement bolts, but if it has three bolts holding it in place, and the tube is two inches in diameter, this will probably be a drop-in replacement for your jack. And again, this thing just looks absolutely amazing. And you know, I hate to say it, this is a very functional part of a trailer if you're gonna be hitching up or unhitching. And a lot of times people are like, I really don't care what it looks like. 
but I think everyone deep down inside does care what it looks like. And to have something that looks a little better or a lot better than what came on the trailer and doesn't really cost you a heck of a lot, this is a great gift idea. If you're, uh, you know, if you're the spouse of someone who has the trailer or someone who at least manages the trailer and you go outside and you take a look at it and it's a manual crank style and you don't want to spend a ton of money and you want something that's going to put a smile on someone's face, this is probably what you need, especially considering the fact you can use it with a power drill and get this thing raising or lowering super fast. Again, 2,000 pound capacity. They do have a 5,000 pound capacity version of this as well on eTrailer. I'll put a link to both of them if these are something you might be interested in as you know something for your own trailer or as a gift for someone else. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.